right, I'm introducing Darren Duffy, and he has filed to run for mayor of Wyandotte County. Thanks, Illinois. As she said, my name is Darren Duffy. I am running for mayor. Uh, I am a Christian conservative, constitutionalist. I believe in our rights and our freedoms. And I do not believe that any governing body has the right to in, uh, infringe upon or take away those freedoms and rights. Uh, that uh, is coming on the heels of COVID-19 uh, and the, uh, the things this current administration's uh, pressed upon the, the community. I am also a, uh, not a politician, never been in politics, uh, never intended to be in politics, but have been praying for this, uh, this county and the current administration, the politics in, uh, in Kansas and also uh, our, just our overall government uh, for years and felt like now's the time to step up. It's, it's time to stop praying about things. It's time to actually put, put feet to your faith. And uh, if I'm elected mayor, I intend to do just that. I intend to take a biblical worldview into that office, and I intend to operate with a heart and a mind of integrity and honesty. Uh, I intend also to very directly uh, take a close look at the people that are operating inside the UG and those who are not serving the best interests of the, the community, the people, uh, to remove them and put people in who will. Uh, additionally, I intend to do a full audit of the UG, its assets, all the money that's coming in, all the things that are moving around, and uh, where the money's coming from, where it's going, uh, as much as I am able. And, uh, and then I believe that we will probably find um, some revenue surpluses that we can roll back to uh, reduce our mill levy. Right now, I feel like uh, a lot of the people that are working in the UG are pushing for special interest groups or pushing for big businesses. They are giving tax incentives and abatements where it's not needed. We are a beautiful county with prime real estate. Why are we giving away tax abatements for big businesses? that should want to be here. Uh, if we are gonna be giving away tax abatements, they should be for small businesses to help them grow, to uh, cause people to be willing to get into the community and put a business on the books. Uh, I said it the other night, I believe that the health of a community can be measured by the number of small businesses that exist in it. Uh, you Back when uh, COVID started, a lot of little towns completely shut down. Why? Because their businesses closed up. They died. And I believe that's the, that's the case for a big city as well. Uh, we are not big businesses. We are small businesses, entrepreneurs, people that are striving to live the American dream. Uh, as Diana mentioned earlier, she talked about the safe and, uh, uh, safe and welcoming, and I think there is some misunderstanding with that. Uh, I am, as we all are, from someplace else, generations back. Uh, if I look at my ancestry, I see American Indian somewhere back there. I see German, French, Irish. I see a lot of different people and people groups and to be uh, in opposition to anyone coming here and living that American dream would be foolish. Do it the right way. I want to see people come and live out that hope. I don't look at them as illegal. I look at them as refugees. They are running from something. And I believe that they are running to the American dream. And if I'm elected, it is my goal to help them process, to get them the paperwork that they need, to streamline that as much as we possibly can, to keep it constitutional, to keep it American. There are laws. 
as has been mentioned earlier. There are laws and legalities that we have to follow. And ultimately, I intend to put people over politics 100% of the time. It's always people first. We can put all the, uh, the policies and all the, uh, the things out there, but if we're not focusing on the people that live here, what are we doing? We've lost our focus, and I think a lot of the people in politics have lost the focus. It's not a leadership position as much as it is a service position. You're supposed to serve the people. They elect you in to serve them, to serve their best interest, to serve their community. And I feel like that hasn't happened, and it hasn't happened in decades. Uh, and I intend to do exactly that uh, as much as I can. Thank you.